Downward Facing Dog Exercise and Its Benefits The Downward Facing Dog is a common yoga pose that provides a stretch for the entire body, particularly the shoulders, hamstrings, calves, and spine. Here's how to do the Downward Facing Dog Exercise. Start on your hands and knees, with your hands aligned under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Your fingers should be spread wide apart for stability. Curl your toes under and lift your knees off the ground, pushing your hips up towards the ceiling. Your body should form an inverted V-shape. Straighten your legs as much as possible, but don't worry if you can't fully straighten them. It's more important to keep your back straight and your spine lengthened. Press your hands firmly into the ground, distributing the weight evenly between your palms and fingers. Engage your arms and rotate your inner elbows slightly towards each other. Relax your head and neck, allowing them to hang naturally between your upper arms. Your gaze should be towards your thighs or belly button. Lengthen your spine by reaching your tailbone towards the ceiling and pushing your heels towards the ground. You should feel a deep stretch in your hamstrings and calves. Take slow, deep breaths as you hold the pose. Try to relax into the stretch, releasing any tension in your body. Hold the downward facing dog pose for 1 to 3 minutes, or as long as feels comfortable for you. Beginners may start with shorter holds and gradually increase the duration as they become more comfortable. To come out of the pose, bend your knees and slowly lower them back to the ground, returning to the hands and knees position. The downward facing dog pose is a versatile exercise that can be used in various yoga sequences or as a standalone stretch. It helps to strengthen and stretch the entire body while also calming the mind. Downward Facing Dog Exercise Benefits The Downward Facing Dog Exercise, also known as Adhomukha Svanasana in Sanskrit, offers several benefits for the body and mind. Here are some of the key benefits of practicing Downward Facing Dog. Stretches and Strengthens the Body Downward Facing Dog provides a deep stretch to the hamstrings, calves, and Achilles tendons. It also elongates and strengthens the spine, arms, and shoulders. Regular practice can improve flexibility and enhance overall body strength. Improves posture. This pose helps to lengthen and align the spine, promoting good posture. It counteracts the effects of sitting for long periods by stretching the muscles that become tight from prolonged sitting. Relieves tension and stress. The pose allows the head to hang freely, which can help release tension in the neck and shoulders. It also encourages deep breathing, promoting relaxation and reducing stress. Increases blood circulation. When you invert your body in the downward facing dog position, it allows for increased blood flow to the brain, which can help improve focus, concentration, and mental clarity. Energizes the body. This pose is considered an energizing posture as it stretches and engages multiple muscle groups simultaneously. It can help alleviate fatigue and increase overall vitality. Builds Core Strength While holding the pose, you engage your core muscles to support the body. Regular practice of downward facing dog can strengthen the abdominal muscles, which contributes to improved stability and balance. Relieves Mild Back Pain the gentle stretch provided by this pose can help relieve mild back pain by releasing tension in the spine and promoting spinal alignment. Improves digestion and circulation. He forward fold position of the upper body in downward facing dog can help stimulate digestion and improve blood circulation to the abdominal organs. Calms the mind. Practicing downward facing dog can have a calming effect on the mind and nervous system. It can help relieve anxiety, improve focus, and promote a sense of overall well-being. Remember, it's important to practice this pose with proper alignment and listen to your body. If you have any existing medical conditions or injuries, consult a qualified yoga instructor or healthcare professional before attempting this or any other exercise. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, 
so you don't miss any new tips. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay safe and enjoy, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.